Logistics is nearly a $1 trillion business in the U.S. That's 17% of GDP. Most of the goods that we utilize or consume have to flow through the supply chain. And whether they come from Asia, Europe, or the U.S., most of them end up in one of these, a DC, or distribution center. Now, the more efficient a DC is, the faster and more accurately goods move to market, and the more profitable that part of a company's operation can be. The Amway Corporation operates some of the most sophisticated distribution centers around. Out of the six North American centers, they ship 10 million packages a year. 10 million packages a year, Deb. Deb, by the way, is the queen of logistics at Amway. Oh, well, Steve, I don't know if I'd go so far as to call myself a queen. Well, you run six distribution centers, 70 million individual items get shipped every year out of those distribution centers, so you must be doing something queenly. Well, we have a great team that supports the network of six distribution centers. Um, in addition to those distribution centers, we also have a couple of other large warehouses uh, to support that volume and activity, but the key is the team members. So I'm looking around this particular center, I'm seeing brand new equipment, state-of-the-art readers, computers, things that squish boxes to the right size, all kinds of really cool stuff. Does that investment pay? It does pay, Steve. Um, it pays off not only in our labor efficiencies that we've gained by being able to move to a more automated uh, system, where in our old environment a lot of these tasks were performed manually, but we've also invested in a lot of technology that really provides an improved uh, customer service experience, more durable packaging um, that provides less returns or uh, replacements we have to do due to damages when they receive them. So you're going to share all your secrets with us today? Not all of them, Steve. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thanks. Even so, Queen Deb did share quite a bit. Here in Ada, Michigan is Amway's Midwest Regional Service Center one of the many buildings on the campus of Amway's huge world headquarters. This facility is brand new. It opened in October of 2011. And on the surface, it looks like a typical distribution center, or DC, with receiving, storage, picking, and shipping stations. But look closer, and you can see some of Deb's secret stuff. This facility distributes products to the Midwest, Northeast, and Canada, to Amway's independent business owners the folks who represent Amway to their friends and neighbors. Over 4,000 stock keeping units, or SKUs, flow through this building. And they arrive in bulk shipments from Amway's own manufacturing operations and other suppliers. Forklifts unload the shipments from tractor trailers and position them in these large pallet racks, which allow the arrangement of a tremendous volume of goods per square foot of facility space. Now, the name of the game in a DC is to break down bulk shipments into individual orders and send them on to their ultimate destinations as quickly and efficiently as possible. So after the bulk shipments are positioned in the pallet racks, discrete items, SKUs, have to get grouped together in shelves where they can be picked to fulfill customers' orders. This step is known as replenishment. But fulfilling an individual order does not begin here. It begins with the box. Right, the box. It sounds totally counterintuitive, but when you think about it, most of the stuff that gets shipped to you comes in boxes that contain mostly air. So if you could build a box that's just big enough for the stuff you're trying to move, you're going to save a lot of money in shipping costs. The boxes are erected with this automated equipment. Barcode labels are attached, and then the cartons are conveyed to picking areas where the orders are assembled. Hytrol Conveyor Company supplied over two miles of conveyors for this building with, and here's a weird factoid, over 400,000 of these small rollers, all of which helps keep the products on the move. One of Hytrol's distributors, Bastion Material Handling, masterminded the design of the automation here. In the picking areas, order selection is guided either by audio cues delivered via headsets or by blinking lights. Amway Associates place the required items into the cartons, working up to six orders at a time. Zone by zone, the order is made complete, with the warehouse management software assuring accuracy. Now here's something that blew me away. Amway uses a French designed and built packaging system, one of the first of its kind to be used in the U.S., that shrinks the box to fit what's inside. The box first enters the B Plus packaging machine, that's the brand name, where the tallest product in the box is scanned and measured. The box is then built around this dimension. First, it's lifted, and then folds are crimped in the corners. Glue gets squirted along the score marks, 
and this press descends to fold the edges to the proper height. The box is lifted again to allow a lid to be glued on, and voila, the box is ready to ship. All box, no air. Amway has three of these machines in Ada, and the French technicians who installed and tweaked them find the machines so compelling that they've given them all names. Laura, Clara, and Brigitte. Bonjour, mademoiselle. And with that, it's almost anticlimactic to say that the label is pasted on automatically. And the boxes merge with others and sorted en route to the shipping docks. It's the little details that caught my attention. Things like these little wheels situated in the middle of the conveyor that pop up to divert the cartons down 16 different lanes. Then it's into the trucks and on to the customers. Altogether, this building handles almost half of all orders for Amway in North America. Half a billion dollars in sales, which equates to five million packages a year. Amway is a privately held company with worldwide sales of over $10 billion a year. If they're willing to invest in state-of-the-art DC technology, maybe the rest of us should sit up and listen, in English or French. Bonjour, mademoiselle.